In this video, you will learn how to write a simple JQL query. To write a query using JQL, you will need three things. The field, which Jira uses to store data. The operator, which compares the field to the value. And a value, which is the information we're looking for in that field. Together, these make a clause. You can have multiple clauses in a query. You can then connect these clauses with keywords. Let's try this out. Say you wanted to see all the bug issues your teammate Patrick Selman reported within a project called Lima. In the query, we'll need three clauses. One for the reporter, Patrick. Another to define which project we're looking in. And a third for the issue type, bug. Let's try to write this query in Jira. Select Search from the navigation bar. Then select Advanced Issue Search. Type Reporter in the JQL text box to select the field. Then hit the space bar once to add the operator, equals. And once to add the value you're looking for in that field, which is the user Patrick. Next, add a keyword to join this clause to the next by hitting the spacebar again. In this case, use the keyword AND because we're looking in more than one field. Hit the spacebar to define your next field, Project. Then add the operator, equals. Add the value for the field, which is Lima. Add the last clause by hitting the spacebar to add the keyword AND. The field issue type. The operator equals. And the value for the issue type bug. Select search. Now we filtered the specific issues we wanted. We have found the issue we were looking for. Let's try another example. Say you want to track down all unassigned issues in the Lima project. We'll need to define the project and the assignee value we are looking for. Let's try it out. Select Search from the navigation bar. Then select Advanced Issue Search. Type your first field, Project. Use the spacebar to add the operator equals and the value lima. This isolates the project. Use the spacebar to find the keyword and for another clause. Add assignee as your field. Then add the statement is empty. Select search. This means that Jira will now show issues where the assign E field is blank. You can see the query will now return issues in the Lima project that don't have an assign E. JQL may look complicated, but once you understand how the different elements work together, you can use it to run fast and powerful queries that sort through hundreds or thousands of issues at once. 